And if you look at Ibn Taymiyyah's works, like y even Shah Haqid al-Sfahaniya, he'll be uh, Ibn Taymiyyah will be speaking and uh, normal, normal speech uh, as the Sheikh, the Sheikh al-Fadl al-Ghazali mentions. Like you have an opponent in a sense, but the way he would be described by Ibn Taymiyyah is in a very endearing and respectful way, because his mark that he left was something which you cannot you cannot disrespect. Dhabi, he called him Hujjat al Islam. He is the proof of Islam. What, what kind of, I don't think he's used that term with anyone else. Al Dhabi, who's an author, he wrote a book as well. I think as a, it's not him that wrote the book. Did he write a book called Alu? I think he might have. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So he wrote a book about Allah's. Uh, how, how, uh, yeah. Yeah, he wrote a book about Allah's uh, highness and so on. And he was, he was clearly an Athari, but look at what he was saying about. Uh, uh, Al-Ghazali, it's Hujjat al-Islam, the proof of Islam, he called him Hujjat al-Islam in his Seer Alam al-Nubala. So, uh, Al-Ghazali, he was very special because he, he wrote Mustasfa. And obviously, uh, I forget the name of the book now, but uh, Joani wrote the, the other Asuli book before it, what's it called? Burhan, I can't remember, but I forget the name. It's Al-Burhan, yeah? Al-Burhan. So that was the first like major, major work. But Mustafa became like, it eclipsed everything else. And the stuff that, and we went through a lot, a lot of it in our London Air series, like when we were talking about consequentialism and stuff like that, and how he, or this or that, all these topics. He started up, yani, very interestingly, Al Mustafa was so popular that Ibn Qudam al Maqdisi, who also was Athari, and I think he's the one who wrote the book called Al Aloo, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Are you sure? But uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Qudama was, uh, was an Athari. It's very difficult to argue against this point. Yani he was Hanbali. And he wrote Rawdut al-Nadir, which is an Usuli textbook. Yeah? It's one of the main Hanbali Usuli textbooks. But if, you, if we're honest about the matter, Ibn Qudama al-Maqdisi, who wrote the most famous comparative fiqh textbook in Islam, you could argue Al-Mughni, he copied Al-Ghazali and his uh, Rawdut al-Nadhar was basically a his Rawdut al-Nadhar was an abbreviation of Al-Mustasfa so much so that the early manuscripts if you know that Al-Mustasfa that Al-Ghazali wrote it has an epistemological beginning all philosophy how, wh how do you get a knowledge you get knowledge from this the senses from the aql from this like it's epistemology that like we went through in London area. That's in the beginning of Al-Mustasfa, which is a Usul textbook. The early manuscripts, and you can find this online, it's, no op it's an open secret, yani, of Ibn Qudama's Rawdut al-Nazir, it has an epistemological beginning as well. So Im imagine you have Ibn Qudama, big time, the heaviest hitter in terms of the Hanbali Matham of the, uh, the Mutawasateen. He is so impressed with Al-Mustasfa that he writes a book which is basically uh, an abbreviation or a summary of some sort of Al-Mustasfa. Yani, because and, and by the way, and we have to be honest, the Maqdisis, who it's not just in the Qadama that was a scholar, the Maqdisis in general, they were very um, suspicious of that kind of thing. They they had a more conservative view, and so when when and why why would you find, for example, another now when you look at it, you don't have that epistemological beginning, because a lot of them were suspicious of it. So get out of here. So they cut it out. So you won't find, you know, if you if you get Rawdut al-Nadhar now, you will, the, the copies that you get from whatever you get it from, you're not going to get that philosophical beginning. Especially not if it's printed from certain bookshops in certain countries, in certain places, in certain cities. You're not, you're not going to get that. But that Ibn Qudama wrote it. The same one who wrote Mughni, you're reducing and deleting his works. Because you're scared of philosophy. Think about it. Ibn Qudama, the one Mughni, he wrote Mughni, the most impressive in probably all of Islamic history. Who did we say wrote, who said that it was?